So, um, can, I'm going to need you guys to be quite down right this time. So, what we have, Wendy, here, so we have, uh, this is not number 16, I believe, of the homework, uh, 16. So, they asked us to simplify this. Now, what we have is we have a multiplication problem. And if you guys remember, when you're multiplying fractions, uh, we multiply across, right? But this is a very, very special, guys, because now what we have is we have these polynomial expressions as our numerator and our denominator. So before we <coughs> multiply all the way across, what we're going to want to make sure we do is see if we can cancel out any terms that we're looking for. Okay? So the first thing that I'm going to do, guys, when I have a problem like this, is I have all four different numerators and denominators. I'm going to write them up in separate sections on my sheet of paper. So I'm going to write, this is a bad marker. So let's write t squared. That didn't work. T squared plus 19t plus 84. I have 4t minus 4. Over here, I have 2t minus 2. And over here, I have t squared plus 9t plus 14. All right, now why am I writing all, different, all four of these factors? Well, if you guys remember, um, when we're looking at a problem like this, we want to simplify this as much as possible. So what I'm going to do is now see if I can factor. Which one of these can I factor down to a simplified answer? So let's not start with any hard ones. Let's work on the binomials. Can I factor 2t minus 2? I can factor that to a. Factor out a 2. So I'm left with a t minus 1. Okay. Over here, I can factor out a 4. So it's, then that's the two of t minus 1. Okay? So does everybody follow me on that? <coughs> Pretty basic right there. Now, let's go ahead and let's factor this one. What two numbers multiply to give me 14, but then add to give me 9? 7 and 2. 7 and 2. So I can rewrite this one as t squared, um, no, not t squared, t plus 7 times t plus 2. Then, how about this one? t squared plus 19t plus uh, 84. What two numbers multiply by, what multiply to give you 84, but add to give you 19? 12 and 7. 12 and 7, very good. <coughs> OK. So not everything is always going to be factorable. But if you do have your factors, now what I'm going to want to do is, rather than writing it out expanded, let's write it out as its factored form. So the first one, uh, so up top, my first number is going to be t plus 12 times t plus 7. Over here, I get 4 times t minus 1 times 2 times t minus 1 divided by t plus 7 and t plus 2. Okay? Well, what you guys notice is since this is a multiplication problem, we can write this as everything multiplied together. Right? And what we'll notice is when you have things multiplied together, you're having everything, all of these are on the numerator, and all of these are on the denominator. Well, what happens when I have a number, I express it on the numerator and the denominator, when they're exactly the same, they divide out to 1. Right? t minus 1 divided by t minus 1 is just going to be 1. So therefore, my final answer will leave me with t plus 12 times 2 divided by 4, t plus 2. And obviously, we know that 2, div two divided by 4, that simplifies, right? So that simplifies to 1 half. And there you go. We just leave it as that, right? You don't need to write the 1 there. Because 1 times t plus 2 is still t plus 12. Mm -hmm. Sorry. <coughs> huh? It's 2 fourths. 2 fourths is the same thing as 1 half. Right? So, but I don't need to write the 1. You didn't put the 2 times the t plus 12. Okay, watch. Let's forget, let's write this in. 2 and 4. 2 divided by 4 cancels to 1 divided by 2. So therefore, it's 1 over 2. But 1 times t plus 12 is just the same, so we don't need to write the 1. Okay? Cool. Amazing. Questions? Preguntas?